What's up, beautiful people? We just got back in town last night and we are completely out of groceries. So we're gonna be doing a big grocery haul today. But Amanda's getting ready right now, which means I have a couple minutes to myself. And I wanted to tell you guys about a game I've been playing called June's Journey. Huge thanks to June's Journey for sponsoring this video. It's really fun, guys. It's sort of this nostalgic, old school, throwback, whodunit game, murder mystery. You gotta you know, scope out the crime scene and find the clues, the imaging, the graphic design, all of it, just the artwork, all of it. It's so well done. I'm kind of having fun just racing myself to see how fast I can find all of the clues in every scene. Uh, and I'm notoriously bad at finding things. Like I'm the guy who will stand in front of the refrigerator for 15 minutes looking for the jelly. And Amanda walks up and is like, the jelly is literally right in front of your face. So this is like helping me sort of, you know, hone those skills a little bit. We're just having a blast. And the best news is it's a free game. You can download it on iOS. OS for iPhone or Android, or if you're a PC guy, you can do it on Facebook games. We're actually going to drop a link in the description box so you can go download the game for free yourself. We're really enjoying it. We think you're going to enjoy it as well. Give it a go. So the kids are still at school and I need to do a big grocery haul since we just got back in town from the beach. We don't have like any groceries in the house. Pretty much the only groceries we have are some really old bananas and old potatoes. So I definitely need to stock up on some things. Normally I would go to the store while the kids are in school just because it's so much easier to just get in and out. But the day has kind of gotten away from us. I had a haircut appointment this morning. My super sweet friend Jasmine did my hair and I love it. Um, but we just really don't have time to go do all of the shopping before we get the kids. So I need to pack some snacks because taking hungry children to the store is not really a recipe for success. Um, and, and Lincoln is always really hungry when he gets off the bus. So I'm going to pack some snacks for them, feed them before we go to the store, and then hopefully we can stock up on a bunch of stuff for this week. So here are the snacks that I managed to scrape together. We had a couple of oranges left, some yogurt for Lincoln, that's one of his favorites, and then just some pretzels, and hopefully that will hold them off. Um, Kira's going to go with us, and we're going to drop off some packages at the front desk. You gonna come shopping with us? Okay, great. So we're gonna have like a bunch of little helpers here. You are actually very, very helpful. She has a good eye for everything. She's like very organized. She can just kind of get in and out. Yeah. And so I very Don't much waste appreciate. No time. Yeah, you just are kidding. one organized girl. Hi. Did you just wake up? He always is. He sleeps every day. Were you sleeping on the bus? I think you were. Hi. Oh, hi. Yes. Oh, I missed you. Sleepy, sleepy. <laughs> Guys, a lot going on in the house, right the other side of the camera. But we're not gonna show you today because that's the next video. So make sure you yeah. watch out for this next video coming up. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. It's so exciting. It looks, it looks like a different house now. Yeah. But waited. there's just like a little bit more that we are waiting for it to happen before we show you. So be next patient, video. it's gonna be the next video. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Me too. Yeah. Oh. You gonna get me? You're gonna get me. Wow! That's real fast. Yeah! You're so fast! Look at my handsome man with his handsome tattoos. Do you have the Lion King on your yeah. arm? Everybody always asks that. That's we met up with some friends yesterday, the Deal family. They're oh, they're awesome. so nice. And uh, he has some tattoos, so we were exchanging tattoo whatever, and he was like, I like your lion and the lamb. I was like, thank yeah, you. Yeah, you're like, you get it. <laughs> for knowing that's the lion and the lamb and not the Lion King. Although I will say, like, it does kind of look like the Lion King. That it's just the looks stained like glass. Mufasa and Simba. It's just the stained glass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh you're going to get daddy. Oh no! No, I'm gonna get you! Ah! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get Hello. you! What is it? <laughs> Did he give you a flower? Oh no! <laughs> Ethan would appreciate it more. You should save it for him. Yeah. He's for smiling. Ah! Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Can you blow on it? Don't eat it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> He's like, that's a silly oh flower. God. No, 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 don't eat it. <laughs> that probably doesn't taste very good, huh? There's the bus. Excited for brother? Yeah. He's here. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. I miss <sighs> you today. How was your school day? Good. Good. <laughs> what if we wear these into school? 
You guys got matching flowers now? <laughs> He's ready to go. Whoa! Are you okay? Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's gonna be he dumb so ways to die. Wow, I did not see that curb there. He's so excited. He knows where we are. He's like so excited. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Oh. He's in his happy place. You can smell those samples, huh? I know. Wait, what? Why wait? What? It is our favorite pickles, Grillo pickles, have the chips. That's Do you want to try it as well? <laughs> more. More! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's for you. You try it. Try it. Yum. Yeah. It's like, I want to share with you. I'm so happy. Yum, yum. More! Yum! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Our favorite. Chicken wings? What? what? You got wings? Not really. Costco is the place to be. We made it. We made it. We survived. <laughs> Barely. Think he's like, I'm good. I got barbecue sauce on my face. Lincoln still got food on his Feeling face. Good. <laughs> okay, so we're back from Costco and I did go ahead and place a little order for Kroger delivery. So we have a few more things coming, but I wanted to go ahead and show you this stuff yeah. so that I can get it put away. There's a lot of meat and dairy and things that just need to not sit out. So I'm gonna go through this really quickly. I found a lot of really good things, a few new items. We are kind of creatures of habit, so we love like specific things at Costco, but there were a few new ones that um, I'm really excited about as well. So I'm gonna show you these things. We did get a lot of meat, so that's gonna last multiple weeks, um, but we'll obviously need to get more produce and that kind of thing. So we can't really stock up because we were in the apartment, but the next food haul that we do is going to be in our new home. So I'm very excited to do like a big so stock up. We have like two different kitchens yes. and two different pantries. We have big a really pantry, big one like, in the basement. In the, yeah, like a like a like a doomsday. I think you're <laughs> maybe more excited about this than I am, but I just yeah, being able to get really organized and have like a really good stockpile yeah. of things on hand. Um, so anytime We're going I on a cow, if not just buy the whole cow. We do need to get like a deep freeze. I want to do that. Freeze. We'll have two fridges yes. um, and freezers, but a deep freeze would be really nice as well. When you have a family this size, it just really comes in handy to be able to have space yes. to have things on hand and not yeah. have to constantly run to the store. Absolutely. And I feel like you do spend a lot more money when you're having to go back to the store so often yeah. because you are obviously buying a lot more than just the yeah. two. I don't know about you guys, but for us, when we go to the store to get a couple of things, we always come out with a few more things than we planned on getting. Yes. So I'm very excited to be able to have a space where we can stock up on things, have it on hand, and probably just meal plan a little bit better. Yeah, so. for sure. All right, so here's the stuff from Costco that we got today. So speaking of cow, uh, we got a huge brisket because the kids have been asking for that a lot lately. I'm gonna smoke that tomorrow. That's it's like be really, really big. I also bought some new pellets, which we're not showing, but I do have a pellet smoker. So we'll smoke this for 24 hours. Yeah. And then I got this, it's a top sirloin cap. Amanda and I had this at a, a steakhouse in Nashville yeah. on a date night a couple weeks ago, a couple of months, yeah. maybe a year and a half ago. I'm like, yeah, weeks, months, no, year and a half. Anyway, yeah. we've been wanting it ever since and the kids are excited to try that as yeah. well. So that's great. that is that. Obviously we've got all kinds of other meat and stuff as well, but I am have, have to go pick up Jude from practice at the school. So yeah, I'm gonna head I'll out do the rest of this. While Amanda shows you guys. Thanks so much, Fred. I love you. Hmm. <laughs> so then we also got a thing of organic yogurt pouches. Ethan asked for this this time, but I know Lincoln will enjoy them as well. I think there are 16 in there. So we went ahead and got one of those and a couple of big bags of pepperonis. The kids love to snack on those. Lincoln really loves them. And then we'll also put them on top of pizzas and we got some stuff for homemade pizza. So that's really great. This is Penelope's favorite. She loves these little individual cups of the sticky white rice. You can just microwave them really quickly and easily. She loves to take that to school with like veggies and chicken and that kind of stuff. So definitely got a big box of that. And then our very favorite pickles are Grillo pickles. And so we got this big thing of that. That should probably last us an entire month, but it honestly, we could go through it in an entire day if the kids feel like it. So we'll just see how long that lasts. And then we're really into whole milk yogurt. A lot of times we get Greek yogurt, but we saw this is like Indian style whole milk yogurt. And it was a huge container of it for like $5. So we're gonna try that out. I've never had Indian yogurt, but it sounded really good. And we can, it's, it's plain, it is unsweetened. So we just will add a 
little bit of maple syrup to it in the mornings and have that with granola and that kind of stuff. And then a lot of our kids like tuna, so that is quite a few cans of tuna that should last all month. And then Steven really likes this keto snack mix. It's just nuts and various things, and so he gets that most of the times so that we go, um, as well as these little grass-fed beef sticks. Is that one of your favorites? We did open that one. We did open this one in the store, and uh, Lincoln loves those. We'll put those in his lunch boxes and that kind of thing. And then this is another regular favorite that we get, these little egg witch turkey sausage sandwiches. There's no bread in it, it's just egg and cheese and meat. And so that's a really easy thing to do in the mornings if we're running a little late or short on time. Um, and then Penelope and Kira, but especially Penelope is really into sweet potatoes lately. She loves to boil these um, and make that kind of part of her lunches for school. And so we got a big bag of sweet potatoes as well as a bunch of avocados. This was a six pack of very big avocados and it was like $4.79. So that's a really good deal on avocados. And Lincoln does have avocado with his breakfast every single day. And we found that that has really helped him with seizures to be able to have um, a higher amount of fats each day. And so avocados are a really great way to do that. So he has that every single morning and we have not been having an issue with seizures like we used to as long as we keep the avocado in his diet. And then a huge bag of organic green beans. I think it's actually four different individual bags inside here. So that's like an easy little thing to pull out um, to put on a side for dinner. And and then one of Steven's all time favorite foods is chicken wings. Actually, most of the kids really love them as well. So this is a really, really big bag and it was a, a great price and there's no antibiotics on these. And so that was a really great find. And then we love these Italian style meatballs. Sometimes we'll just have them on their own or of course on top of pasta and that kind of stuff. Kids really love those and they're just super easy to pull out of the freezer and throw into the oven. And then a two pack of this cheddar jack cheese. The kids love to bake quesadillas or grilled cheese sandwiches. Um, and so that will last us a good long while, but we'll definitely go through all of it. And then Costco has some pretty good sparkling waters. A lot of times we'll do LaCroix or Bali, but I found this is a really good deal for their sparkling waters. And so we'll get that. And then I really like the Pellegrino um, glass bottles. And so we get a big box of that every time we go as well. Now this is our favorite brand for sauce. Rayo's, I think is how you say it. The marinara sauce is so incredibly good. And it's a much better deal at Costco to get a two pack than most grocery stores. Um, and their Alfredo is also really good. So I got a couple of those, but we'll go through that like very quickly. So I probably should have gotten more, but again, we just don't have a whole lot of space. Now we'd never bought this one before, but it was one of the samples with the sticky rice and the kids really liked it. This Japanese barbecue sauce is just a soy sauce with the different um, ingredients in it and it is non-GMO. So we went ahead and got one of those. I think Penelope's gonna be really excited to have some of this, but she doesn't know it yet. And then a huge thing of vanilla. The kids have been cooking a lot lately and this is like the same price as a smaller bottle at one of the regular stores and so went ahead and picked up a big one of those as well as a huge thing of strawberry jam the kids make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches all the time or they'll have it on their toast in the mornings and then of course you guys know Kerrygold's our favorite and so we got a big thing of this I think there's four of them in there and uh, we'll go through that pretty quickly too. And then they always have a great deal on these Hebrew National all beef hot dogs. We don't do a lot of hot dogs, but I like the all beef ones and they're easy to just kind of um, use real quickly if we need to do a lunch or something like that. And so Lincoln really likes them. It's easy to use for the kids. Um, and the four pack is like a really, really good deal. And then a two pack of bacon. You guys know we're brunch people. Steven loves to cook with bacon also, like with the green beans. That's really good to cook together. Hang on Lincoln. And then a three pack of these ground beef. Uh, we'll just throw those in the freezer and pull them out as needed. I think it's like almost one and a half pounds per thing. And so one of these will be great for each meal. And then Costco has these rotisserie chickens for $4.99, which is a really great deal. And I wanted to make some chicken salad um, to go on sandwiches this week. And so this is just a super easy way to just chop it up real quickly, throw it all together, um, and then have that on hand this week. You trying to get a pickle? Ethan, Lincoln, Ethan will help you, okay? Lincoln just took the lid off of these pickles. Do you want a pickle? Um. Say more, please. <laughs> That's so cute. Hey, Ethan, will you put the lid back on it? We want to keep it nice and clean and fresh. Oh, is it sour? Did you forget what it tastes like? <laughs> and then we'd never bought these organic flour tortillas before. I can't remember the price, but I remember thinking, wow, that's a really good deal. So if you're looking for organic flour tortillas, Costco has a great deal on them. There's, there's a bunch of them in here. I think it's yeah, two different packages. Uh, we'll probably throw some of these in the freezer so that they stay really fresh and then we can just pull them out for tacos or breakfast tacos or you know quesadillas and that kind of thing. And then a two pack of strawberries. Lincoln really loves those in his lunchbox. Um, we'll put them with our yogurt and griddle in the mornings. 
And then I just saw this for the first time. It's an organic pizza starter kit. I think it's four different pizza crusts and the sauce, and then you just use the cheese, which we already have some in the fridge. So um, that will be a really easy family pizza night. And then we picked up two of these 24 count organic eggs. We actually had bought a third one, or we tried to buy a third one, and then they said that it was limited to two per customer. And so we had to put one of them back, which I didn't realize that they were limiting eggs because there were actually quite a few in stock, but uh, apparently they're limiting eggs. So we got two, but that's that's still a pretty good, I mean, that's like four of the 12 counts, so that's fine. That'll last us a week or so. And then we always pick up one of these when we were at Costco. I love the cilantro lime crema sauce, and I think they actually sell that separately as well. I forgot to pick that up, but it is so good on everything, so we always love to get these. And then the last couple of things over here, I went ahead and got a big box of chips so the kids can take one small one in their lunch each day. Um, and then these looked really good, and honestly, this was an impulse buy. I was not planning on getting any other chips, but the sweet chili and sour cream sounded amazing as well as the grillo pickles chips because of course we love grillo pickles so i wanted to try those out and then a huge bag of organic rice this is 20 pounds of rice so this will last us a few months um, but penelope loves it we cook with it so much we'll add it to dishes multiple times a week and so definitely use a lot of organic rice so i'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away while we wait for the kroger stuff to show up and then i can show you that as well just a few other things that we need um, for like school lunches and that kind of thing Okay, so the Kroger stuff is here and I'm gonna show you the last of the few things that we got. We are getting hungry and tired. Are you ready for some dinner? Yeah! Yeah! We're hungry, so I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I'll get started on dinner. So I needed a couple loaves of bread and we love the Dave's Killer Bread, um, as well as some organic lettuce. We just got a little bit of this. Penelope loves to make salads and that kind of thing. Um, and I needed a few more avocados that were actually ripe because the ones at Costco were still a little bit firm. So we'll have these for the next few days. Some bananas, some honey crisp apples, and a bag of onions over here. Um, the kids really love these dino nuggets and so I got a box of that, um, a little bit more olive oil and three packages of these little sausages here, as well as some of these gluten-free little mini pretzels. Lincoln really loves these. I like them because they're not enriched and I'm trying not to do enriched foods, so I um, don't really eat a lot of them, but oh, did you say you like them too? Yeah, yeah everybody likes I the pretzels. Them. Oh, thank you, that's his, uh, that's his snack from earlier. Kroger has really good mac and cheese, and so sometimes we'll get these little cups. They're really easy to microwave and put into little containers um, for the kids' lunches as well. And then I forgot that I'd already ordered these little chicken salads, but I'm still gonna go ahead and make the homemade stuff, and then we can just keep these on hand. A couple more things of mozzarella. We already have some in the fridge, but we're gonna be making pizzas, so we'll need a couple more of those. And then some ham from the deli that the kids will put on their lunches, and a little thing of mushrooms for one of the recipes I'm making. And that's it. So we're gonna put the rest of the stuff away and then get started on dinner. Full of food, Jude. Is there anything you want to tell us? <laughs> I got some exciting news. You got some exciting news. He called this morning first thing. Yeah. And he was I like, Dad, it. I gotta tell you something. I made the soccer team, which is kind of surprising because it's been so long since I played. But it's been a while since just, you played. Just that but you're rocking. really good, and I think you're gonna have a blast. He made the soccer team at school. He's for high like, school. I can't give you a high five because I have a so taco. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? Quick, tell me right now. I was honestly really scared. Burp. He does. Burp. I heard from my friends I, I didn't make it because they didn't know my name was actually so awful. Oh. And that was Jude, so they were looking for Jude and they couldn't find it. They're like, you didn't make the team. Oh. And I was so sad, I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, that's Whatever. sad. Yeah, if you guys don't know, his birth name is Sorafo, Sorafo. So I guess that was what is technically on your school <laughs> roster. So your friends thought you didn't make it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you did! Woo! That's exciting. <laughs> so we're celebrating with tacos. What's your favorite food? Maybe we should get some. What's your favorite dessert? Ice cream? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we should get Andy's honestly. Oh. oh, frozen custard. So much for fit by 40. Well, we could. I don't have to eat. We don't have to partake. I'm gonna try not to partake too, because I ate too I'll much partake. ice cream at the beach. I'll take it. Yeah, you can eat it for us. Alright, we can do that. Eee. Cheers, brother. Eee. 
<laughs> She's gonna keep going. Penny's gonna be my helper now. She's gonna help me chop up all of this chicken so that we can make like some chicken salad and keep it on yeah. hand no, for lunch. You like chicken salad, don't you, Penny? I do. Yeah. They're all big I think all big of the big kids, even the little kids, everybody likes chicken salad. I don't know that you're so prepared with the gloves. Well, you know, I can't That's do smart. You know, that box of gloves is the gift that keeps on giving. I can't do anything without this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I understand it, though. You don't want to get your Looking hands all dirty. Those fingers. At all. Those beautiful hands. I remember I got this because she got her my birthday. <laughs> I know, because you were like, I want some I think, gloves. <laughs> I think that was 16th birthday. It was a while back, yeah. It was kind of <laughs> like a joke, but you actually really liked it. <laughs> I did. Like, I really used it. That's funny. All right, guys. We have full hearts and full pantries yeah. and full... Bellies. Bellies. <laughs> Everyone just... I didn't vlog because we were all starving and we just yeah. like grabbed a million things and uh, just, I wanted to show you this real quickly because Reese made some homemade bread. Oh my god, and, and homemade, homemade jelly. jelly. The, the butter is Kerrygold, but she made these delicious, so delicious good. things and so good. she's done it a few times this week and she's just like an amazing baker. <laughs> so we're very happy about that. Yeah. But yeah, lots of food prep going on, lots of food, yeah. dinner, I don't know. I'm all tired. the good stuff, guys. Yeah, but anyway, we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching again. And again, thank you so much to June's Journey for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out the description box to download the game for free. It's but, super uh, fun. It is really fun. But we can't wait to see you guys next time. Next video is a big one, so be sure to have on your notifications so that you can watch. We will be doing the premiere. We do a premiere with every video. If you didn't know that, every day that we record and release a video, record and release a video, uh, we do a premiere. We love to chat live with you guys. We would love to do that at 8 a.m. And uh, it's Our a pretty time. big one. Our yeah. time. 8 a.m. Central Standard American time. Yeah. But uh, we love to connect with you guys there that way as well. So we can't wait to see you next time. We'll see you later. Bye, Bye. guys. For your name's sake, you will lead me back